Hello everyone, this is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more tips and tricks. In this video we're going to talk about finding twins and triplets, and then once you've found them, finding other numbers because you found a twin or a triplet. This is puzzle number 64 from Sudoku to Go volume 85 by Soap Opera Digest. Okay, well, let's get started on this. Uh, first of all, we're going to look for, uh, look through sections and look for no individual numbers. And while we're doing that, we'll look for uh, twins and triplets. We've got a one, one, one right there. So right now, we know that there can only be a 1 in one of these two cells in this square here. There can't be a 1 in any of these three. So if we found another number that had that same characteristic, we would find twins. And so you got a 4 over here. No, that won't work. A 1, a 5. There's a 5 there already. 8. 8's are here, so that won't work. So it doesn't look like we have a twins there. Okay, let's go here. One. Okay, right here we've got three cells that a one can go in. And, oh, look at that. We've got a four and a three in this row here. And so, along with that one, so that means that the only numbers that can fit in these three cells are one, three, and four. So that means that these three numbers can't be a 1, 3, and 4, 1, 3, or 4. And so we can figure out, we can find out what these numbers are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these three numbers are 5, 6, and 7. Okay. Even though we couldn't fill in these triplets once we found them, um, it gave us more information about this square, and so we can put a 5 right here because there's a 6 and a 7 in that column. Okay, and then we can fill in the other two numbers because now we just need a 6 and a 7 here, and there's a 6 there, so that's a 7, and the 6 goes there. Let's look at the rest of that row now that we've been able to find those three numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's a 9 here, so the, neither of these cells can be a 9, so that's a 9 right there. Now these are twins, 2 and 8. Oh, there's an 8 here, so we can put a 2 there and an 8 there. Now we wouldn't have been able to do uh, fill in any of those numbers on that row, but since we found th these, these tri this triplets here, that enabled us to fill in that entire row. So that's the power of twins and triplets, and it really works well on uh, more difficult puzzles. It really helps you a lot. For more information, go to sudokuprimer.com.